Student loan forgiveness sounds really nice to illegal immigrants, people with no life experience, people who don't have families yet, and people who use preferred pronouns. Oh, ah. uh, which one are you then? We got uh, <laughs> Louder with Crowder LLC, uh, student loan, and forgiven. Oh, oh. <laughs> So, my body, my choice, except for when it comes to student loan debt, that's when someone else should step in, hmm? Uh, point to the place on your body where the student loans are. <laughs> it's kind of a weird comparison. What's with the student loan thing? Is, is there a new thing that's come out about student loans being, like, dissolved? <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> I know gender roles are bad, but I'm never cutting grass or taking out the trash in a house where a man lives. Ah, this is cute until a man says I'm never cooking or cleaning in a house where a woman lives. Maybe it's not that gender roles are bad. Maybe it's just that they can feel oppressive when there is no choice, no understanding and no sharing. It's like, yeah, if you don't want to wash up, right, I'll wash up. If you don't want to cut the grass, I'll cut the grass. But if I don't want to do something, you got you to say the same, right? Like, ah, all right, I'll do that. You know, I'm better at that. <laughs> hey, guys, uh, what's the process of getting divorced to your Norwegian partner? Or where can I find it? Uh, here's a link. Uh, first result on Google when Googling divorce Norway. Was problem solving one of the reasons your marriage failed? <laughs> Jesus Christ. I mean, let's be real. If you have to go, go on Reddit to ask a basic question that you could just search on Google, come on. Like, how? <laughs> My twins are eight months now, never been vaccinated, and have never been sick. Yep, I let my kids play in traffic, and they haven't been killed yet. Uh, you know, maybe they're just lucky, right? Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> my roomie bought a boy home at 3 a.m., and the first thing she did was make him fix our broken garage door and our blown fuse. She's a true innovation queen. Ah, but swap the genders. My roomie brought a girl home at 3 a.m., and the first thing he did was have her clean all the dishes and make him a sandwich. He's a true innovation king. Is it still funny? I hate to break it to you, bro, but yeah. <laughs> it made me laugh. Like, if a guy came around, like, let's be real, he's gonna do that. If you if you ask him, oh, do you mind just fixing the garage door first? He's like, oh. My 20-year-old daughter wants to move in with us until she's finished with college. She says she will pay the bills, but she is a grown adult. How do I tell her that adults leave the nest, hmm? Uh, let me get this straight. Your 20-year-old daughter, who is pursuing a college degree, wants to move in to save a bit of money. In addition, she's offered to pay bills. As her grown parent, you decided to log on to ask internet strangers how to tell your daughter that adults leave the nest. In your failed attempt at virtue signaling, you revealed that you are the emotionally immature party in the situation. I mean, seriously, are you freaking kidding me? This is, this is sorry behavior. I feel sorry for your daughter. If she were my child, I would let her live in my house for free, gladly welcome her, and applaud her for making good financial choices. When you're old and need to be taken care of, don't be surprised when she comes to Quora and asks for advice on how to tell her elderly parent that elderly people go to nursing homes. Ah, bye-bye, you go, you go, you're trapped now. <laughs> this guy says, return from Toronto to Ahmedabad today at 3 a.m. No thermal check, no other checks. Just filled a self-declaration form, and they let me go saying I'm to self-isolate myself for two weeks. If this is how they do it, India is gonna be in real bad trouble, hmm? And then uh, they've, they've replied with, no, no, uh, here's, here's the scan, and there's CCTV footage of the scan. Wow. Wow, you got outed on Twitter by the plane. <laughs> Daniel Radcliffe to Tom Brady. Take that MAGA hat out of your locker. Oh, okay, yeah. Rich coming from this guy. <laughs> Why did I know this was gonna be like a thing? Uh, that was from a movie, stop lying. Dude really tried to expose him with a movie screenshot. Actually, no, they just decided to film Daniel Radcliffe's like daily activities and put it into a movie. And it just so happened, this this was one of the uh, screenshots that they got of him. Always go above what is required. Never ever do the minimum. Have a work ethic. Ah. Uh, ask an employer to always pay above and beyond or give above and beyond benefits. See what they say. Yeah, I feel like you should always go above and beyond in your like personal endeavors. You know, if you get paid above and beyond, then go above and beyond in that. But like in your free time, 
like go all out, right? <laughs> Hey, Blank likes monkeys, and I told him you like monkeys, so I think you two should talk about monkeys together. This is some next level conversation, yeah. Uh, we talk about you all the time. Oh, man. <laughs> When Ned Stark died in the books, it made me realize George R. R. Martin wasn't going to pull punches. It was only later I realized he was more afraid of finishing a story. Ah, yeah, I think he liked killing characters so much he forgot he needed them for the plot. He was like, wait, wait a sec. I, I, I don't have any characters. It's like watching The Simpsons, but we've killed off all The Simpsons. You know, like Ned Flanders comes in and he's like, howdly doodly. This doesn't really make much sense anymore, does it? <laughs> you don't think universal healthcare qualifies as a charity handout? It's people financing other people's problems. Hey, Trent, if your house catches on fire, I don't want my taxes to go towards financing your problems with my charitable handouts. Be a man and call around to get some quotes on quality firefighting services, you lazy crap. Yeah, Trent. Trent's like, well, I'm a fireman, right? He just he just pulls out his entire kit, does it himself, like, all right, never mind. <laughs> the 20th century has provided many technological benefits that allow folks to work from home. One such benefit is the internet. Ah, Lord Sugar? Yeah, yeah, you keep convincing yourself. Did your parents and grandparents work from home? Hey, you made home computers, Ellen. That, that was your business, dude. <laughs> He's like, wait a sec. Yeah, your grandparents and parents before the internet didn't use the internet. Hmm? Checkmate. Yo, Rory literally ran after this guy and asked for a photo because of his t-shirt. Oh my freaking god. The kid didn't know we were crying with laughter at him. Ah. Did it ever occur to you that a dude in his 20s at an anime convention chasing after a 13-year-old wearing a meme shirt to take a picture with him and make fun of him is exceptionally more pathetic than a 13 year old wearing a meme shirt. Hmm, I like his shirt though. Maybe the, the kids, he's trolling him. Technically he is. <laughs> Taking on student loans voluntarily that you knew you couldn't afford. How do 18 year olds know the future? Uh, they should know basic math. Yeah, but how can they know which jobs will be available in four years? Whether they will get hired at them and what other expenses they may incur. Uh, it's called a calculated risk. Some fields have a higher success rate for finding a job, better pay, and also some colleges are cheaper than others. Again, basic math. Yeah, and you expect an 18 year old without a degree in risk analysis to do that calculation? <laughs> yes. Yes, I do. <laughs> the conversation ends. <laughs> wow, thanks. <laughs> also, how are you so good at English? Oh, haha. <laughs> Half my family is British. I've uh, been speaking English longer than Spanish and Galician. Galician? Galician. Oh, we can't be friends then. Mm, American only. Oh, damn, sorry. I can probably learn how to shoot up a school if that's what you're into, though. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <sighs> France's EU minister names her cat Brexit because he meows loudly to be let out, but then just stands there when I open the door. It sounds about right. Yeah, why is there a Polish flag there, though? Is it <laughs> France's EU minister, Polish flag? Or is it the Indonesian flag? Hmm. No wonder Sweden is credited with all these inventions and in improving the condition of the human race. Oh, wait, that's America. Never mind. Carry on. Ha <laughs> ha. Ah, how embarrassing for you. The world's most innovative countries Switzerland, Sweden, US. Is that right, though? Is that like, I feel like US is so much bigger, it's probably invented more things. Or is this like per capita, right? When the hell did a large bag of chips from a chippy cost nearly four pounds? What potatoes are they using for it to cost that? Ha ha ha! Tesco potatoes ain't even that expensive. Nana Jan must be rolling in it, the jammy sod. Uh, Nana Jan says, Oh my gosh, Kim, if only we were. You know the price of living has gone through the roof, right? You can't even begin to imagine what it has done to businesses. You know that energy cap? It's astronomical for commercial properties. 
Wages have risen along with everything else. Do you know how much a large fries is from the well-known fast food restaurants? £1.69. You must be able to put four or five boxes of those into our large chip portions. The difference? Ours is actual potatoes, not frozen and processed. I am so sorry you felt the need to write this status, but I can assure you, hand on heart, that there is no rolling in it due to a large fries being £3.90. Ah, you know what? Instead of writing a Facebook post, you could have just not bought chips from the chippy, right? <laughs> Ellen DeGeneres reveals the hurtful thing Elton John said to her after she came out as gay. Even Elton John said, Shut up already, we know you're gay, be funny. She's not wrong. Come on, Ellen. A bit, bit more, bit more funny, please. <laughs> also, if you're going to be living here permanently, you'll have to start putting your dates in our order. It's March 19. Get it? American. Not right, but American. Uh, tell that to the 4th of July. That's, that's the other way around. So, uh, American? <laughs> hey. Buddy, real brave of you to insult our military. Yeah, and real brave of your military to invade my country and give our unborn population a long history of birth defects and collateral damage that harmed our economy and quality of life for decades. Ha! Huh. Source? Uh, here's the Wikipedia for the Vietnam War. Oh, that. <laughs> It's almost as ridiculous as your ban list. I hear you ban anyone who says blank is the best hat. Is this accurate? Mm -hmm. I think you've confused banning and blocking, Mike. I don't have the power to ban, only to block. Blocking is why you don't have friends, and banning is why you can't go near a park. You know, you're not blocked from it, you're banned. <laughs> what do you genuinely not understand? Uh, how I get taller and more handsome every time my grandma sees me. Like, how? Oh, that's because she shrinks and her eyes get worse. Oh, oh. <laughs> Transgender is a male fetish, and last I checked, toddlers weren't on the, the hub. Whoa, you were looking for toddlers? Oh, yeah, wait a sec, that's the worst possible time to use the sentence, last I checked. Wait, no, you didn't check, don't say that. <laughs> Marshmallow says, don't be afraid to be yourself. Hey man, you cover your face with a giant marshmallow. So, <laughs> hey, do you know that though? Do you know that for real? Maybe he is a giant marshmallow. Maybe that is his true face. <laughs> Replying to Michael Rosen, in lockdown, were you working 14 hour days trying to help people or were you sitting on your ass feeling sorry for yourself, hmm? Uh, during lockdown, I was in an induced coma. Thanks for asking. <laughs> It's the first time a coma's been funny. It was just like, well, I, I didn't really do much because I was kind of in a coma. <laughs> Prepare for flooding. Ugh, more left-wing propaganda. Um, I I'm unsure if the water is flowing more from the right or the left, but significant stream rises are expected. So it's, it's gonna go up, you know? This is, this is more the authoritarian kind of thing, not the left-right yet. <laughs> Hello, Jewel. I wanted to ask, what is your favorite color? Ah, such a stupid question. Ask me something logical and matured. All right, uh, what about this? <laughs> it's, it's just not wrong, though. Like, imagine going up to someone and just being like, what's your favorite color? Ah, I, I'm surprised you got a reply. <laughs> Voting closes in conservative leadership contest that decides UK's next prime minister. Ah, it's like picking which ball to be kicked in. Mmm, that's just every, like, modern <laughs> voting thing, right? It's just, it's like, do you want this shit or do you want this crap? South Park had an entire episode about it. Giant douche versus turd sandwich, that's it. <laughs> like, like, no one, no one wants either. Well, that sucks. Oh, I opened it and it had mold in it. Hey, free penicillin, yeah! Oh, I'm not from the US, so it's free anyways, but yeah, I can, I can send you it if you want some. <laughs> to get people excited about pizza again, Papa John's is offering a new spin on the classic with Papa Bowls that are all topping, no crust. Yeah, that ought to do it. Mmm, when I eat a huge bowl of cheese and pepperoni at home, I'm a sad loser. But when I do it at Papa John's, I'm also a racist eating inferior ingredients. Who sits there and just like, mmm, like, 
Oh, cheese, pepperoni. Oh, this is good. Like, how many different ways can you get cardiac arrest? Wow, there's more videos on screen. Can you see them? Click them if you want to see more. Like, like the, the videos. Is do you, do you see that? Click them. Thanks.